It was a busy morning to fill up these boxes to help those in need. I'm Brandon Rowe in Toronto, where volunteers help fill up 3,000 survival kits to help the homeless. As you can see, it's a absolutely cold winter we're having, and uh, there are a lot of people sleeping on the streets. Are you warm? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so I want to make sure they're warm. Okay, be well, okay? God bless. God bless you. Make your ear. Good luck. It was all hands on deck with more than 100 volunteers, including the Toronto police, helping fill and give out kits with food, hygiene products, and warm clothes. It is very disheartening because some of those people, I mean, when it comes to shelters, we're trying to do what we can to get them into it, but we're not successful in every in every case. So something like this, at least we can give them the, the tools and the basic necessities that they need in order to survive. The project is in its 19th year, and every year we say the same thing. We don't want to be doing this next year. Long-term housing and support services are what we need. But until there is a solution to homelessness, we will continue to do these projects. John is one of 3,000 people benefiting from the winter survival kits. He tells City News that many people would rather stay on the streets than stay in some of the shelters in the city. It's pathetic. I can show you pictures on my phone where you can take and put on the news if you want it. Where they had the bathrooms clean with mold and there's biker hazard chemicals and suits you're supposed to wear when they were cleaning them. The food's terrible. Half the places the heat don't work in them. Which is why John and many of these volunteers agree that these kits are essential and could be the difference between life and death for those living on the streets. It's not fun, it's freezing. <laughs> Papas can't even find boots as myself. I've been running all around all winter runners because there's no boots in the community for people. Yeah, they're good. You need them really. It's nice to know that people actually care about people out there. Project Winter Survival had just under 13,000 requests from about 200 shelters and outreach programs. If you want more information on how you can help the Engage and Change program, head to our website, citynews.ca. In Toronto, Brandon Rowe, City News.